Yo, what's up guys? We've got another image sent in and we are working with this shot right here. So we're trying to recreate the exact same edit with the exact same photo. So as always, I'll be putting his links down in the description for you guys. So if you like his work, you can go give him a follow down there. You can also check out his prints if you like. So if we come down, you can see he's using pretty much the natural tones in his images. And I really like the sharpness he achieves in his images, really making his subjects pop from the image. But we'll get straight into Lightroom and see if we can create something pretty awesome like this. Here's his raw image that he has sent us and then the edited version from his Instagram. I'll just show you guys the cropping. So we've just cropped in a wee bit there. If we go back. Okay, so we need to cool it down a lot. And as you can see, the image is very flat, so it has very little contrast. So we, are, we want a lot more contrast, but I'm gonna add the contrast in with the curves rather than up here. So I'm actually gonna bring this all the way back because when you do it with the curves, you get the colors to pop and it's much, much more effective. So we'll do that right now with the curves. Okay, so curve's done and it's just a really simple S curve. If you struggle with the S curves, just grab the point here, bring it down this line here, and just drag it a wee way down and just bring it the same on each of the colors and then just bring the middle into the, just bring it up into the middle there. So real simple S curve, adds in that contrast and that color pop. And then over on this one, we just want to soften the blacks a little. So I've just brought up the black point a touch and then pretty much left it flat the whole way. And there's still going to be plenty of contrast from the other curves there. So we just need to brighten up the entire image now. Uh, shadows. And then blacks. And these curves are affecting the amount of detail you can see in the shadows blacks highlights so just trying to match it up and i can see there's been some filters used so we'll have to come in with those And then I'm just going to bring the highlights down. You can see it looks quite harsh. We want quite soft light. Okay, we'll just drop the vibrance, then up the saturation. So it's quite hard to pick whether someone's dropped the vibrance, but it's kind of does exactly what it says it does. It affects the midtones and the highlights a bit more than the shadows in that. So it creates a bit more of a pop effect. We just want to bring it down a bit. Then let's move on. So we're looking really warm if we play around with some colors. So let's just see where the yellows are affecting the image. Very large part of the image. And you can see we want to bring it a long way this way. And then the greens, see where the greens are affecting. So just in little bits and you just want to look and you can tell we want our greens to be a bit warmer. Uh, 
and then you've got to drop the saturation of those yellows. And we'll drop the greens. Okay, I need to brighten the image a bit. Um, so if we do some filters, and I've already placed these filters to speed up the work, so I'll just show you where I've placed them. So down the bottom here, we just want to brighten the foreground here. And you can tell because uh, over here is a different exposure to over here. There's no way you would achieve both without using a filter down here. So let's just bring it up. Okay, uh, over here we just want to enhance the flare that's already happening. So let's bring out the exposure. Add in warmth. So there's a real sun hit. And then you just want to make sure it's not looking too yellow. So adding in purple will give a more of an orange and red cast to it. Just a little bit. Need some highlights. Want to keep it nice and soft looking. So uh, adding in haze will really do that. Just going to see what that's doing. Go about there. Saturation. And I think that's good. And then just make sure it's feathered out. So we've got it, we've already got it pretty feathered. So it's nice and soft. Right, so I want to add, uh, it's a bit dark around the edges. So I want to get a radial filter that affects the outside of it. What we'll do with this one is up the exposure. And then maybe add a bit of a haze around the outside of the image. It's very subtle, but that's what we'll do. Just adds to that Sun City feel. Right. Um, and now we just want to, actually before we do that, do some sharpening. So a decent amount. And then we want to keep all the fine details very soft. So you do that by lifting up the masking. And if you hold option and slide this, you can see exactly where it's sharpening. So I'm going to slide it a long way up. And now it's just going to sharpen those thicker edges. So it's really going to, especially along here, and really make the elephant pop. And then it keeps the fine detail nice and soft. Right. Okay, so... Now we need to bring out the elephant a bit. So just need a brush. I've already done the brush. I'll just show you. So pretty much the front, entire front. And I just want to bring out a bit of detail in them. So drop the exposure. Um, so clarity is really going to make them crispy and pop. Bring that up a long way. So if I get rid of the exposure, you can see that's really brightened them. Uh, and then let's add some saturation in. So you see some of that golden 
light on him and then if he's looking a bit too yellow I'm just going to add in some purples and that will make him a bit more of a just slightly more red and orange and what I'll do is add some warmth into the highlights so I'll go to the red channel I want a bit more purpley reds warmth in there so I'll just lift this up a bit Okay, so now we get a bit more color in the highlights there. And I just want to add a little bit of clarity to the entire image. A bit more crispness to it. Uh, and then, because clarity slightly brightens your image, we'll just drop the shadows a touch. A bit more contrast. And then, what else? Uh, if we just grab our brush on the elephant. I'll just add some sharpness directly on there. And then also just drop, the sh no, lift the shadows a little bit. And I'll just do a new brush and I'll just brush over the front here. And what I'll do is up the clarity It really brings out the texture of the trunk. But then I will drop the shadows a bit to keep a bit of that contrast. Could also try dropping the blacks. And just to the entire image or to the highlights, I want to add in some warm tones. So some oranges, give it a bit more of a sunset feel. And there's just some of these little marks here from the sun flare. Just get rid of those real quick. Bracket key to adjust the size. And you can just remove them, change the opacity. And yeah, I'll just leave it there guys, pretty close. I think there's a few different ways you can go about achieving the same look here. But yeah, hopefully you guys learned something. Comment down below who you guys want to see in the comments because I go through all of them and then I go and reach out to them on Instagram. So comment people who have great images but don't have many followers. That way they'll send in a photo and I'll do a tutorial on them. So yeah, that's it guys. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one. Cheers.